Hello there, Star Wars fans and collectors, and welcome back to another Star Wars fig review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Black Series, Wandering Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Tiburon Station Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Uh, this is going to be a double review, and the reason why is because if you have noticed, these two are the exact same figure, just different paint applications and slightly different accessories. Some of the accessories are the same, some of them are different, and um, yeah. Now, one thing to know is that I bought the Tip on Station Kenobi Loose. I don't have the packaging for that one, but I do have the packaging for the Wandering Jedi Overall Kenobi. So before we take a look at the figure and accessories and articulation, let's take a look at the packaging in detail. The packaging is, of course, your standard Black Series packaging. It's based on the new one with the mural art and the plastic window. So the front's the same. We've got a nice mural art of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, the back is pretty much the same. The description is a description of the show not so much the character and it's the first in the first paragraph of course in english this is figure number one in the uh we all kenobi uh wave and the figure of course and this packaging is again the wandering jedi packaging it says right here but yeah uh, this is a sign nothing new here except for the stars black series logo and it makes sense that this would be the number one uh figure in the wave because it is open mouth kenobi himself and it is based on that show so that makes sense so back to the figures now, in terms of accessories, um, they both come with their lightsaber, or well, the lightsaber hilt and the blade that you can detach from the hilt. And of course, the hilt has a peg where you can peg it to the belt. Now, the lightsaber blade on the station Obi Wan Kenobi actually broke off, so I have him displayed with the hilt clipped to his belt. And that's fine because he doesn't use a lightsaber in that scene. Or no, I'm sorry, he doesn't use a lightsaber when he's wearing his, when he's wearing his outfit because this is his prima, his you know almost like his work uniform because we see him you know uh work in this uniform we don't see him do, do jedi stuff so that's fine they both come with their blasters that you can holster into uh the holsters right here and you and if, you, and if you're gonna put it in his hand it's preferred that you put it in the right hand because it has the trigger finger now in terms of wandering jedi kenobi he comes with a soft goods cloak he also comes with uh lola and lola comes with two accessories that being a saw I mean, sorry get that comes with a saw <laughs> there we go okay fell off but she comes with a saw arm which you can peg to the middle of the uh, droid right here okay i'm not gonna do it and she also comes with a uh plastic uh translucent peg and the idea is that you take off the legs you can take off the legs and stick it you know in that same peg hole and have obi-wan carry it as if she was floating so you can put you can put the peg in her in obi-wan's hand and and just kind of uh, depict it as uh him t um you know interacting with lolo as she was as she was floating uh Station Obi-Wan Kenobi comes with a poncho or or poncho-like cloak, I guess. Uh, kind of like a cape, actually. So a cape-like poncho, whatever it's called. Uh, he also comes with a backpack. But that's it. Um, Likeness-wise, he does look like you and McGregor, but I don't, think it's, I don't think it's perfect, though. But it is a good, um, good sculpt. Articulation that Obi-Wan has is a ball joint at the head, ball joint at the lower neck, hinge shoulders, hinge elbows, Hinge wrists, ball joint at the waist, hinge hips, hinge knees, hinge ankles. Overall, the paint and detailing and sculpting is great. So these are two figures I do recommend to get in your collection, especially if you're a fan of the character and the show. I uh, was a big fan of the character. I'm sorry, I wasn't a big fan of the show, but, you know, I still like Obi-Wan. He's my favorite Jedi of all time, such as how Sidious is my favorite Sith of all time. So get these figures. I rate this probably, I rate these two probably 8 out of 10. And I think it's a fair, uh, well-earned, and deserved uh, score for the, these two figures. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell icon, and I will see you in the next video. May the Force be with you, and have a great rest of your night. Bye.